Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Perryman. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and dry eye disease expert. I'm the founder of Perryman Eye Institute in Seattle, Washington, and the director of dry eye services and clinical research. I'm really happy that you're here with me today so I can talk to you about neural stimulation, a physiologically complete approach to dry eye. I had the benefit of participating in the trials, the original FDA phase three trials for a device called the iTier 100 by Olympic Ophthalmics. We had excellent data in our study and our results will be peer reviewed published in the very near future. But today I'm gonna to teach you how to use this, the iTier 100 and what to expect from it with use. So let's get into it. Hopefully by now you've received your device and you have it fully charged. USB charge, very easy to do. I want to orient you to the device. There's an activation button and a wheel at the, at the top. This vibrates when you push the activation button and you can hear the vibration sound. We're going to apply this vibration energy alongside the nose. There's a tiny little branch, a tiny little nerve branch right here between the bony part of the nose and the fleshy bendy part of the nose that we're aiming for. So let's get started. Turn on the device. Put it alongside your nose and with gentle sweeping motions, we are looking for the point of maximum stimulation. And it's a little different in each person. You'll notice very quickly tear production happening, but I want you to keep going for the full 30 seconds. The device has a pause built in every 10 seconds so that you have an audible of how much time has passed. Count to three. And that's it for one side. Switch hands and do the other side. I'd like you to use it twice a day for 30 seconds per side for the full 30 days that the device is activated. Here's what to expect. That tickle sensation, it can be uh, notable, but it diminishes over time and it's not unpleasant. The amount of tears that you produce may be very robust at first and a little less over time. Rest assured the device is still working because when we did this in the trials, what we saw was that the tear production remained high, but the baseline tear remained, it was elevated and it stayed improved. We also saw improvements in corneal staining, those dry areas of damage on your cornea. We also saw improvements in the meibomian glands and the quality and the number that were able to deliver quality meibom. And we also saw improvements in the symptoms. So I'm excited to bring this device to you. I know you're going to get some great benefits from it. And I thank you for your time and joining me today. Have a great day.